from Mish Posh Baby and today we are reviewing and comparing the Nuna Mix 2019 with the Nuna Triv 2019 as well. Both these strollers are actually very very similar. There's a little bit of differences but mostly with size. Um, but yeah, they're very similar and they have a lot of cool features. So starting from the basics, the Nuna Mix is bigger than the Nuna Triv. You can just see it just by looking at it in the video. The Nuna Mix 2019 does have a bigger footprint. It weighs 27 pounds. It has a weight capacity of birth to 50 pounds. The Nuna Triv is more lightweight. It weighs 19.4 pounds. It also has a weight capacity of birth to 50 pounds. So they have the same birth capacity, but the Nuna uh, mix is bigger. Their canopies are really, really nice as well. I will say that the Nuna Mix has a little bit of a more sturdier canopy. The Nuna Triv does have a canvas like a canopy, but it's a little bit thinner, so that's one thing. They both have peekaboo windows, magnetic, which I really prefer the magnetic peekaboo windows over the Velcro just because the magnetic make no noise. And they both have an extra panel that you can just open up right here and, you know, just reveal an extra panel. More sun coverage, UPF 50, again, protect your child from the harmful sun rays. I will say that the Nuna Mix does seem to come down a little bit further, so if you're really into canopies, the Nuna Mix might be the one for you over the Triv. However, they both have a lot of air ventilation, which I really like. The Nuna Triv has all weather seats, which means it has pretty much a, like a little overlay that you can put over here, over the mesh during the winter months, so you don't have to worry about the cold air getting into you know, your child's seat and you know, your child can stay warm. However, in the summer months, the ventilated windows really, really make a difference. There's ventilated uh, little back here. Here with the Nuna Mix, it also has the little ventilated windows on the side of the canopy and a little bit of the ventilated windows on the back of the seat. So they're both really, really great no matter the weather, which I think is super important. Now, both seats are reversible. Again, super nice because depending on you know what parents feel comfortable with when you have a newborn you might want them to be on the other side so again completely reversible super easy to use and the mix is also reversible as well just move it um so both seats are also reclinable however the Nuna Mix has more of a flat recline and has more positions. The Nuna Trip also has a really nice recline, I would say near flat as well. It's just that the Nuna Mix has five positions and the Nuna Trip doesn't have that many. Um, but it does have a nice recline as well. They're both one-handed, which again, I really enjoy. Now the wheels are a little bit different in both of them. So the Nuna Mix has bigger wheels. Just look at the back wheels. They are a lot bigger than the Nuna Triv. The Nuna Triv are a little bit smaller. The brakes are the same. It's just foot brakes, super easy. They both have all wheel suspension, but because the wheels in the Nuna Mix are a little bit bigger, it just runs a little bit better when you're doing all terrain. So for a little bit of a smoother ride, I would go with the Nuna Mix. But again, if you just need something you know, small, compact, the Nuna Triv is the one for you. They're both, seat, they're both car seat compatible. One thing that I really love about the Nuna Trib is that the ring adapter, the, um, it's paired with the Nuna Pippa. So when you use the ring adapter to you know, pair together, the ring adapter actually folds with the stroller. So when you need to fold the stroller, it's super convenient. Uh, the storage is also really nice with both of them. Like I said, you know, the Nuna Mix is a little bit bigger. So the storage is a little bit bigger, teeny bit. The main, main difference, besides obviously the Nuna Mix is bigger than the Nuna Triv, is how they each fold. The Nuna Triv is pretty much a one-handed fold. It's super easy. All I'm going to do is, you know, push the seat forward and pull on this. And it's super easy, super nice. I'm not that great at folding strollers, and I'm able to do this. So I really think it's a really nice stroller. And another thing that I really enjoy is that both these strollers can be folded either way. So I just reversed it to show you in the video how to uh, fold it forward, but it can also be folded when it's in the reverse side. Same thing with this. 
All I'm going to do is just push it up and then I'm going to pull on the two levers on the side of the handlebar. And I'm just going to let it go down and it has a little lock so I just push it down to make sure it's locked. And then it is also self-standing, which I really like. Let me show you. So it is a self-standing fold. Again, both are super easy. It just, the you know, mix, you do have to use two hands. It's just, just, it is what it is. It's still a very easy fold to unfold. So I really like how both of these fold. I'm a very big fan. They both have uh, slide adjustable shoulder straps. We just make it a lot easier just to, you know, adhere to your child growing. Um, they both have adjustable calf supports, which just make it super easy. It's a two-hand adjust. Um, yeah, so it's just all about convenience in these two strollers. So, the Nuna Mix retails for $649.95, and the Nuna Triv retails for $699.95. The Nuna Triv is something that if you're, you know, short on space and you want something more compact, a very nice travel system, this is what you want. If you want something that rides exceptionally well, although they both have a smooth ride, um, the Nuna Mix just has bigger wheels, they both have all-wheel suspension, so really, they're both really nice. They can both be found here at Pish Posh Baby. If you have any questions about the comparison or anything, please feel free to drop them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.